Okay, next we have is Abena versus Arham. Which baldy has had a better start to the Premier League season? The Dutch baldy or the Italian baldy? Uh, Abena, I'm going to start with you. Just like 30, 40 seconds of what do you think? Okay, I think it should definitely be on a slot. Uh, he, he comes to a new country, a new club, and to instantly match Klopp's legacy is no small feat. He's the only Premier League manager to win his first 9 out of 10 games in all competitions. First Premier League manager to win 4 away games. And he just conceded like 2 goals in his first 7 games. And we already have a distinct style of play. He put his mark on his tactics and he, when he wants his team to press and we, when he wants us to kind of play slow and adapt, we can clearly see how Slot wants the team to play and, and develop. And I think the fact that all of this is done by matching Klopp's legacy and even kind of surpassing it in some ways, it's, it's, it's no small feat. And also, this is the second best start Liverpool have had to a Premier League season, barring the 1920 season where we won the league by like 20 points or something. Uh, yes, there are tougher games coming up. Yes, we will be pulled into more and more competitions. Uh, but slot has slotted in perfectly, and I couldn't have asked for a better start. Uh, you can also say like Masika has to deal with a lot of players and everything, and, and Bowley's tantrums and all of that. But to carry on what Klopp did uh, by playing entertaining football, I think it's no small feat. I mean, I've been a good pitch, but what need what we all need to consider over here is the context of where the managers came in, the uh, sort of what was the condition of their club. Slot is basically riding on the club muscle memory pain right now. Squad is literally the same that finished third easily at the club, same team as last year, bar maybe Gavin back for John. So obviously they're likely to perform at a similar level due to the chemistry that they already have. But even Slot in his pressers has said that he isn't happy with their press and off the ball work. So it clearly does that he doesn't really want to get his ideas across. Maneska, on the other hand, came into a club which totally played a different style of football under Pochettino. It was no way near to work the style of play that we are playing right now. And he has had to implement that. And then he had to integrate Fofana, Colville, and then he has had to tackle with James Kingery, who was arguably the top three Chelsea player. And then a huge truckload of new signings. You need to integrate those players. And so far, he's managed to keep the players happy. He has been able to implement his ideas while also showing flexibility. And he hasn't limited his players. Like, look at the freedom he has given to Palmer. And three out of three away wins speak for themselves. And we didn't go to Nottingham Forest at home. So if he needs sort of notes on how to get points against this multi Nottingham Forest team at home, they can contact Mareska. I, th- I think that's the only way, uh, only place where Slot and uh, and Mareska are similar, like using you know dropping points to Nottingham Forest at home. But everywhere else, I think Slot's better. Uh, given again, mashing Klopp's legacy is no small feat, man. I think I, you can say that expectations were low for Mareska to begin with. So I think that's why he can shine more, I guess, given that he's already kind of came into a you know, a shit show, sort of. But to kind of keep the wave riding, again, you can call muscle memory and all of that, but kind of just carry on the way things have been going is no small feat. I've been off the record, mate. Do you really believe what you're saying? Off the record, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I wanted to know. 